Average to range or ATR is a technical indicator in a sea of hundreds of indicators available for traders on various platforms. ATR as the name suggests gives us the average range of the stock. The range can be large or small that depends on the individual stock or the market. ATR has several uses and can be a very useful tool for any trader. Below we will dive deep into the meaning of the ATR as well as learn the practical uses of the ATR indicator. So what is ATR? ATR is the average to range of a stock or the market. It measures the volatility of a particular stock or market. The ATR indicator gives us the average range that a stock or market can move in either direction. Of course the stock can move more than that due to some fundamental change or some news. But ATR will be the value that stock will respect in absence of some other catalyst related to the stock or the market. Hence ATR or average to range gives the daily volatility level of individual stock. But how can we use ATR? Now we will discuss three ways in which ATR can be used while trading stocks or index. There are several uses of ATR indicator. We will learn some of them now. Firstly, we will see how we can see use the ATR indicator for placing stop loss levels. ATR indicator can be used to place a stop loss. Many a times traders put their stop losses just near the resistance or the support level. But this should be avoided as the market is dominated nowadays by algos or algorithms and creator of these algos know the mentality of a general retail trader. They deploy the algos in such a way that the stop losses of these retail traders are hit and they are stopped out of their trades. Several times you might have seen fake breakouts or fake outs. These are also sometimes the result of such stop loss hunting by other institutional traders. Ab now we can see the chart of Ashok Leyland. A resistance level was made on the chart which later acted as support and we saw a morning star candlestick pattern at the support. But what should have been a stop loss for going long on the pullback to the support? Just below the support, lower the candlestick? Well, these can be stop loss levels, but a much better stop loss would have been the level that you choose minus the ATR value. In this case, the stop loss would have been 131.75 minus 4.36, that is 127.39. So that would ensure that our stop wouldn't be hunted and we would remain in the trade. In more volatile stocks, one can use the level 0.5 ATR also. That is only subtract half the ATR. In less volatile stocks, like in the example above, we can use the 1 ATR and subtract it to come to a more logical stop loss for bullish trades. Likewise, bearish trades, we can use the stop loss at the level you chose plus the ATR value. So we have learned that instead of placing stop loss at near the support or resistance we should use the atr indicator to better place the stop loss so that our stop loss is not hunted by the institutional traders we, we can use either 1 atr 0.5 atr depending upon the volatility level of the stock so now we will learn how to use atr indicator to anticipate breakouts on technical charts so another use of ATR indicator is to anticipate and trade breakouts or breakdowns on any technical chart. The market generally moves from a state of low volatility to a higher volatility that is a volatility contraction leads to volatility expansion which can also be termed as breakdown or breakout. Since ATR indicator indicates the volatility we can use it to find such volatility contraction areas near the support resistance areas and use it to anticipate breakouts or breakdowns. So now we can see the chart of Infosys on NNC. The stock moved into a resistance area and marked by the orange lines. Also while moving up it formed higher lows into resistance which is an ascending triangle pattern. So the stock formed an ascending triangle pattern and then the stock consolidated at the resistance and the volatility reduced which was clearly seen on the ATR indicator. 
ATR dropped significantly and the volatility contraction occurred. What follows is a good breakout and the stock shoots up. We have already discussed how to spot these breakouts in our articles on our website. The volatility contraction near an area of value that is a support or resistance area can lead to a breakout or breakdown. So now we have learned two uses of ATR indicator. There is an another use that we are going to learn that is to stop the fear of missing out. ATR indicator can be used to stop your FOMO. We have seen plenty of times a stock shoots up or down and trader doesn't want to lose out on such a bullish or bearish stock and wants a piece of the cake for himself. So he or she chases the stock and as soon as he buys or sells the stock starts moving against his anticipated direction. Doesn't that sound familiar? It has happened to every trader. ATR can help in preventing this mishap to a certain extent. Above is the 5 minute technical chart of LNT as traded on NSE. The stock ran up about more than 30 points up that day, which was very close to the ATR value of 34. The chart also made famous ABCD day trading pattern, but if any trader who spotted it late would have thought to buy due to the FOMO. He didn't want to lose out on such a great move, but that would have been a very bad level as the stock had already ran the average range, That thus it would be equal to buying on the tops. If, if there is no catalyst or fundamental news, then the ATR will be respected and the stock wouldn't move more than the ATR value. Thus buying or selling short should be avoided when the stock has already ran equal to the ATR unless there is a catalyst or news. This concept is to be applied to a lower time frames like 5 minute chart. This technique is best suited for day traders as when the stock has already given a large move which is more than equal to the ATR the trader should avoid buying at that level and should wait for the dips or specific day trading patterns to manifest for initiating long positions. So guys. In this video we have learned the three important uses of ATR indicator. The first one was how to use ATR indicator to place a stop loss. The second one is to anticipate breakouts. The third one is to stop the fear of FOMO. I hope you all like this video. Please like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.